what I'll do, I'm going to give you guys some of the key rocks that you want to ask people so that you're prepared to figure out the house. Annalisa just gave several, but I'm going to slow it down for a minute so you guys can write it down. And if I miss something, Annalisa, just let me know. Um, but really, first and foremost, we're going to assume that you already have their motivation. That's really the first thing you always ask about. That doesn't have to do with pricing a house, though. So I'm not going to go into that. Just do understand, though, that first you need their motivation. Once you have that, you're going to say, great, let's see what we need to do to get this home sold for you. And that's like your transition into now the actual prequal. So again, it's let's see what we need to do um, to help you achieve the motivation. So they understand now there's a, there's a change in the conversation. Now I'm about to get logical with you. So let's see what we need to do to make this happen for you. You're going to ask about square footage, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, things like that are pretty typical. What I found very crucial was to say on a scale of zero to 10, mm. how would you rate the condition of your home? And you say zero to 10, because if you say zero, you don't have to say zero is low and 10 is high. You just say on a scale of zero to 10, and they know zero is low, how would you rate your home? And what I find is everybody is a little different with their discretion, right? So I'm not looking for if it's below a five, oh no, what are we gonna do? Because a five to me might be a seven to Annalisa. The, the, the idea is I just wanna get an idea, a way of creating a gap. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say on a scale of zero to five, or zero to 10, how would you rate your home? They're gonna give me whatever number. And then we're gonna say, okay, great. What would make it a 10? Mm -hmm. And that will tell me, they might've said it's a five, but what would make it a 10 is granite countertops and hardwood floors. Well, that's not really that big of a deal. Or someone else might say, well, to make it a 10, I need to get a new roof. I need the AC needs repair. And I'm just going to be writing all this stuff down so that when I give it to Annalisa, she knows what's, what's up at the house. Mm -hmm. So scale zero to 10, what's the condition of your home? What would make it a 10? Um, and you want to explain, by the way, that a 10 is a show ready. People could come to your house tomorrow and walk through and you would be proud of the way that it looks. What, where would you put it? Um, another big key thing that you want to ask and write these questions down because this is really vital. How you ask financial questions will make a big difference because sometimes sellers think that when you're asking, what do you want to earn on the home? There are some skeptical ones out there that they will think, what are you just trying to see the lowest I'll sell my home for? So let me give you the way that you ask about financial questions that I found worked really well and it disarmed them and usually made them pretty comfortable. So Annalisa, so how about you be a seller for a second? Perfect. So we're already on the phone. We already went through the condition of our house. So Annalisa, my goal is to make you as much money as possible on this house. That helps you, that helps your neighborhood, and quite frankly, it helps us too. We all stand to benefit from your house selling for as much money as possible. Yet, I wanna know what you absolutely must have or it just wouldn't make sense to move because if we can't get you that number, mm. we actually are not going to list your home. Mm. I'm going to pause for a minute. The, psycho the, the psychology behind that is, it, I mean, first of all, I'm not just giving it as a line. If we can't make them happy, we're not going to list the house because this house is going to expire or it's just, you, they're not going to be happy with what they're getting. Um, but it's also different than what they're expecting. It's almost like the takeaway of if we can't help you get the house, we're just not going to take it on as a listing. We'd rather tell you now than to let you down later. Mm. It, it is a bit of a, now we're on a, a more mutual ground. It's not a, I want your listing, I want your listing, I want your listing. It's more of a, I want to help you and I'll only help you if I can legit help you. Make sense? So um, with that in mind, Annalisa, how much do you think your home is, is worth? Um, probably around the 250 mark, I would say. Perfect. And what makes you think it's worth 250? Well, when we bought it about three years ago, we paid about 225 and the markets increased from what I hear anyway. So I guess that that feels like the right number. Okay, perfect. And pause there. That tells me she hasn't done a ton of research. She's in, I'm trying to see, is she basing it off Zillow? Is it because she's done research? Has other realtors told her? Mm. Where did this number come from? Well, I know from her answer just there, she's probably not married to the number because she's like, I don't know, it just seems like it would make sense. Mm -hmm. that, that gives me a little insight into how serious is Annalisa about this 250 number. So that's again why we say, so what makes you think it's worth 250? Yeah. Um, so back to the role play. Mm -hmm. So Annalisa, um, how much do you want to walk away? So what I mean with, by that is we've closed on the home, you've paid off your mortgage, you've paid 
any attorney fees, all that stuff, and you're walking away with a wad of cash in your pocket, how much money do you want to make? About 50000 because that's what we want to put down on the new house. Okay, and what makes 50000 the number that you think you need to put down on your new house? Because it's 20% of what the new house is going to be, and that's what we want to put down is 20%. Okay, perfect. I'm going to pause again. The reason I said what makes you think you need 50 is I now know she thinks she needs 20% down. Is it true that you always have to have 20% down on a house? Nope. Oh, there's a lot of loan options. Now, I'm not gonna get into that right now. There's no point. That's what the appointment's for. But what? But the reason I'm asking these questions of why do you need 50 and what makes that number important to you is my brain is going to, if we run comps after this call and see her house is only worth 235 and she thought it was worth 250, what she really wants is to be able to get into the next house with a loan and it probably is going to be tied to, I got to ask her some more questions, but tied to mortgage payment amount or something. So it's not that I need to necessarily get her 20% down on her next house. It's probably more that I need to help her find a financing option that allows her to buy a next house, mm -hmm. right? So that's why we ask why 50, what makes it that number for you? That's why we ask these questions. Mm -hmm. I hope, I wish I could, see you all because i'm asking does this make sense and annalisa of course is like yeah because <laughs> i hope this is making sense to all of you out there listening okay so um perfect so it sounds like you went fifty thousand because that's what it'll take for you to have 20 percent down on your next home now question annalisa and i'm not saying that this will happen i haven't even looked up your house mm -hmm. hopefully it's worth like a million bucks for all i know um <laughs> however what happens if it was 35 versus 50 what would you do well I mean, we'd have to think, but we need to be in this new house. Um, we're we're outgrowing it. There really isn't another option, so we'd have to we'd have to figure it out. We have to sell. Okay, perfect. All right. And so, what would you say is the absolute lowest number you could have for it to still make sense? And again, hopefully, I'll get you way more than that. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I know what we absolutely must get you for this to work for you. I mean. We could probably do with 30, 30,000 because we do have some in savings that we could put towards it. Okay, perfect. And again, my goal is to help you earn as much money as possible, but I really appreciate you sharing that all with me because it gives us a sense of what you absolutely must have. And again, we, we want to help you get as much as possible. So perfect. Anything else that I should know about your financials before we move on? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think that covers it. You know, obviously, like you said, we, we need to make a, a lot of money and we're, you know, trusting our whoever we end up working with to help us with that. But I, I think that covers it. Absolutely. Perfect. So I, as the person setting the appointment, is going to write down on the paper, you know, key is to make as much money as possible. I mean, it's kind of normal. <laughs> um, that will help Annalisa know when she goes on this appointment to really drive in and say the words, make as much money as possible. So I look at it kind of like we're playing basketball and I'm throwing the ball to Annalisa to do a layup. Mm -hmm. So any verbiage that I can give her that's important to this client, anything at all that's going to help her know how to relate to them and tell them exactly what's important to them, I need to document that. So she mm -hmm. walks in aware. Okay. Mm -hmm. That will also help her not overshare because if they don't ask about marketing and they don't seem like they care about marketing, they never said the word marketing, Annalisa doesn't need to spend 15 minutes talking about marketing. She could lose the client. So I'm gonna put down, make as much money as possible because that's what they want. And if she can show them that, they'll probably sign. Mm -hmm. okay. um, anything that I left out, Annalisa, that you wanna add? No, it was perfect. I love it. All right, so we're gonna ask about condition. We're gonna really drill into their finances. And again, the key wording is, my goal is to make you as much money as possible. Yet, yeah, I wanna know your absolute must have or when it makes sense. And I do find if you can make them laugh as you're talking about money, it will help a lot. So that's why I said, hopefully I can make you like a million bucks on this house. Mm -hmm. And if you noticed, even in the role play, it made Annalisa laugh. <laughs> We're gonna be in better report.